What's up YouTube, welcome back to Celio's Network. Today we're looking at the metagame and the results from the Chill Series number 14 tournament. Uh, of course, ran through play.limitlesstcg.com and this was on December 30th, 2020. Uh, before we hop into this though, shout out to potownstore.com, the best place for you to get PTCGO codes and be sure to use code Celio for 5% off over there. So, um, yeah, so this tournament held on December 30th, uh, pretty typical online tournament, you know, cost two packs of online Vivid Voltage to enter, yada yada. Uh, there were 258 players in this tournament, and it wasn't exactly like anything special. It wasn't like, you know, it w it was just like another chill, another chill series tournament. It just so happens this one was absolutely massive. Um, so one thing I do want to note is in the details of this tournament when registering, it does say playing ADP Zosh, ADP Zoshin is strongly discouraged, please refrain if possible. And then, uh, they tweeted out, you know, to specify ADP isn't banned for this tournament or anything. We were just encouraging you to play, uh, you know, play an eclectic selection of decks tonight. Like if so, like, you know. If you decide between ADPZ and something else, maybe go with the the more unique choice. Now, personally, I would have refrained from doing anything like this because uh, this could cause people to kind of uh, say these results don't matter. Like, oh, the tournament organizer told people not to play ADP. So, you know, these tournament results don't matter. But I think a lot of things are multiple there are multiple variables that went into adpz being the fifth most played deck in this tournament uh so it was under 10 percent of the share which is probably the first time that's happened like in months uh so pika ramaturna zashin luke metal blacephalon were all more popular than adpz um, now, I don't think this is only because of what they wrote in the details. You know, we strongly discourage you from playing ADPZ. I think it is also because there have been content creators putting out a lot of other decks and other decks seeing success. So, like Azul, he got top four with uh, Agral Rillaboom and then also put out a video about it. And then, so we see eight Agral Rillabooms pop up. Mad Party, a few people took Mad Party to day two in the GG Tour $3,000 tournament, and a lot of people have been like tweeting about it, making videos about it. So, you know, some more Mad Parties pop up. The same with Reshizar decks, you know, people have been playing it more, so it's been seeing some results. And in so videos are being being made about it, there's media about it, so more people are playing it. Dragapult won a tournament sometime in the past week and also top four to tournament, I believe. Uh, so that probably caused some people to hop back into Dragapult. So a lot of things could have caused people to switch off of Zacian ADP to another deck. I just wanted to discuss that for a moment there. But yeah, so Pika Rom and Eternatus were the two most popular decks. <sighs> Excuse me. And why don't we look at the standings? So Excadrill ended up winning this tournament, uh, which I did not think I would be saying that about Excadrill uh, in this format. I've been testing Donphan myself, and Donphan and Excadrill are like super, super similar to each other. They both do 120 for one fighting energy. They're both fighting type. They're both stage one uh, multi single price Pokemon. Um. So I do think Excadrill and Donphan are like really poised to do well as long as they dodge Luka Metal and ADPZ. And like I just said, Pika Ram and Eternatus were the two most popular decks. They made up 30% of the metagame. Uh, Excadrill should also have a good matchup versus Blacephalon, so that's another 10% of the metagame. Uh, so it makes sense that Excadrill would be able to do well. So why don't we take a look at this list that ended up winning the tournament? I believe it was, uh, yeah, piloted by Bruno Aruda, and we see a pretty, um, a pretty typical Pokemon line. We have the 4-4 Excadrill, of course, it has the Drill Bazooka attack, that's main attack, uh, for one fighting energy, you do 120, you discard the top four cards of your deck, and then the 11 Dower Tackle, which can do 180 if you only have three or fewer cards left in your deck, so... You might get to use 11th hour tackle at the end of the game. 
Three three line of Chinchino for the make do discard a card draw two cards ability and then Altaria with miraculous charm to wall out any ADPZ uh, not playing Aegis Slash. It could also wall out a Luke Metal deck. Luke, excuse me. It could also wall out Luke Metal, but the issue with walling out Luke Metal is speed dive only does 60 damage so if they full metal wall and then they have a metal frying pan or metal goggles they take zero damage from speed dive um and it and you don't play tool scrapper in this deck so you can't actually wall out a lucario metal metal and then win on prizes because they can just like doll loop essentially um this deck does play hapu it's playing three hapu which is not a card we see played hardly at all right now look at the top six cards of your deck and put two of them into your hand discard the other cards um so it's a very aggressive supporter um it's kind of like the next best next best thing to professor's research if you wanted to add like three more pseudo research because it does let you look at the top six cards and you get two of them so if you're always just digging for the energy plus excadrill you can get there with hapu and you can even help it empty your deck so you can get to the 11th hour tackle for 180 for one fighting energy as well um, I'm not a huge fan of it only playing three gust effect two bosses order one great catcher But they are playing two pal pads to shuffle back bosses orders But like if your drill bazooka discards your pal pads and you've already used your bosses orders then you're out of luck So I would like to see like maybe another boss maybe another great catcher um, My Don fan list is very heavy on gust because like you're focusing on being able to just boom 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 Knock out the Dene the Dene Crobat things like that or just against peak in eternity You just hit whatever they have out there um, But yeah, so this is the list that ended up winning a little bit of analysis on that the rest of top eight was pretty standard. We got uh, Eternus Eternatus, Pika Pika, Luke Metal, Luke Metal, and ADP Zashin. In ninth place, we have Mad Party. Um, and then in 10th place, actually, is Cinderace VMAX. Another deck that I would never have guessed to see show up and do so well. Uh, so Cinderace VMAX has pretty much been overshadowed by uh, Centiscorch VMAX ever since Centiscorch came out. So Cinderace VMAX uh, for two energy has the counter attack 30 plus if this Pokemon was damaged by an attack during your opponent's last turn, this attack does that much more damage. So you could get hit, Mallow, Lana, and then counter and swing it for a bunch of damage. <sighs> or you could max Pyro Ball for 170 and burn your opponent, essentially doing 190 off the bat. Uh, so they're playing the Malolanas. I saw the person say that they almost didn't play Malolanas, but I honestly don't think this deck can even function without some sort of healing. So yeah, definitely play Malolana in this. Uh, four to, excuse me, four to Dene two Crobat. So even though you're Fire type and you have a lot of HP, I feel like this shouldn't really beat ADP Zashin because you have all these support Pokemon. You're not playing Jirachis or anything single prize. So like you're forced to put down these two prize Pokemon to like draw cards. So let's look at their matches. Um, they didn't hit a single ADP Z. So that makes a lot of sense. They lost to Mad Party and they lost to Pika Rum. Um, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense then that they did not hit any ADP Z. Uh, because I don't think this deck could ever beat that, even though you have this chunky VMAX in the active, but then uh, they can just gust around it. And then, of course, like I was saying, um, Azul had top forward with Agral Rillaboom in a previous tournament this week, so some people have been jumping on the Agral Rillaboom train. And this is, yeah, this looks pretty much like Azul's list. I'm not sure if he was one running the Wondrous Labyrinth, but other than that, um, the shame and the two double double is actually a really good card right now because it takes 30 less damage so if you have like a big charm or a toughness cape on it zashin with the adp buff doesn't actually knock it out and if pika rom knocks out like a three prize pokemon revenge blast just goes in and takes the knockout so i think i've seen people trying this out in pika rom and i think that's a pretty interesting idea because um like if you swing in with full blitz and then they knock you out then your double knocks them out but then they can't get the return knockout on double so i do think double is like a pretty underrated v pokemon right now 
Um, and Agrol Rillaboom, it, it kind of makes sense. You know, if you can get to the Tropical Hour GX, you can really overpower a lot of decks by shuffling all of their energy in, like Picarom or ADPZ, if they're left with no energy on the board, especially if you can, like, Marnie them at the same time. It could be really devastating. Um, so those are the results of the Chill Series number 14 from December 30th. And... Uh, the metagame, like I said, might be a little bit skewed because of the whole Zacian ADP thing. Uh, but I wouldn't look too much into that. Like, you know, them saying, like, we discourage you from playing Zacian ADP. If people want to win the tournament with Zacian ADP, they're still going to play Zacian ADP. Um, as for the win rates, the highest win rates out of the top played decks were Sent to Scorch Zacian ADP. Uh, and then Agrot Rillaboom actually had a really good win rate, as well as Mad Party having a really good win rate and Excadrill having a really good win rate. But the lower played decks, their win rates typically hold a little bit less weight because it's a smaller sample size size so i hope you all enjoyed this video um, if you're looking to join online tournaments definitely go check out play.limitlesstcg.com and if you need pokemon tcg online cards to play in those tournaments check out potownstore.com for all of your ptcgo needs and use code celio for five percent off be sure to subscribe to this channel for daily pokemon tcg content leave a like and a comment and have a great day i'll see you next time here on celio's network